Hi, it's me again. And with the uh, with the TV license fee charter expiring in 2027, that's when we're we're looking to see some change and some decisions are going to have to be made soon. And to that effect, we're starting to see the BBC's propaganda campaign building up into full effect. Because I clocked this one in the paper today and I thought, oh, here we go. Here we bloody go. Look at this. Universal Household Levy offers viable alternative to BBC licence fee. A report. And this is from PA Media, so it's like the newswire thing that other agencies use to get their news to, to report on. Yeah, it's as, it's as annoying as it sounds. Look, a universal household levy could offer a viable alternative to the BBC licence fee. A new report has suggested. I wonder who is responsible for, for that new report. The Lords Communications and Digital Committee, the Lords, many of whom have got ties to the BBC or they need the BBC to support the House of Lords because there's no other reason for it to exist unless people believe it should. But yeah, many of them have got ties to the BBC or have worked at the BBC or in media in general. Each household would be required to pay a flat fee regardless of consumption. So that means me then, basically, because I have no consumption of BBC products. It could provide the broadcaster with predictable and sustainable levels of income. It doesn't matter how much the level of income is for the BBC. It won't be enough. What was it was talking about the other day? It was a couple of days ago, we had a video on here, and the House of Commons told us, there was a question in the House of Commons, and it told us how much the BBC that you pay your licence fee to have to work with each year. And I believe it was 5.7 billion quid. And they've still got a whole 200 million in their, in their accounts. How's that work then? A predictable and a sustainable level of income will never be enough. There's no such thing as enough when it comes to money and the BBC. There isn't. In a report into the future funding of the BBC, the committee said it would need to be means tested to make it fairer than the current model with linking the fee to council tax a way of achieving this. That's what they want. That's the one they want, and they want it means tested as well. They're going to start means testing council tax as well. So you keep your current band if you are a low income earner, but if you earn anything above the national minimum wage, you can expect to pay more than you'd be paying now. So the absolute bare minimum is it's how they'll do it, isn't it. The absolute bare minimum you'll pay is the current, say, the current amount, one hundred sixty nine fifty. Will go up in line with inflation, obviously, but at the moment it's one hundred sixty nine pound fifty. That's the bare minimum you'll pay. The more you earn, the more you will pay, and that's fair. That's fair, is it? And linking it with your council tax means you can't evade it, can you? At least it's still per household that way, which is better than chucking it on your income tax, which is per person. But don't go giving the BBC any ideas, will you? The committee also urged all parties to consider a hybrid model in which public service content would be publicly funded, while other programming, such as high-end drama, would be behind a paywall. Right, and that's even fairer, is it? So now it's going on your council tax, you're going to pay more for it if you earn more than 50p an hour, and you're only going to get shite for what you do pay. If you want to watch BBC's half-decent stuff, you've got to pay a subscription. Yeah, it's a, it's a great idea. I don't know who came up with this, but yeah, great idea. Great idea for the people who work at the BBC to secure their pensions, some of which are in the House of Lords. But is that a great idea for the people of this country? Still, no adverts. They do mention adverts in here, and I'll get to that in a second. But at no point did they say, it's either this or adverts. We're, we're going to take a really deep look at it and actually do some work. No, no, none of that. All they want to do is to... I don't understand it. I fail to understand why the BBC is so special that it must be supported by taxing the people directly. Why is it so special? ITV do a fine job. And they make their own money. They're not taxing the people. Channel 4 do a fair job. Make their own money. They're not taxing the people. Channel 5, there's loads of other free-to-air channels that do a fine job that don't need to tax the people in order to do it. Why is the BBC so fucking special? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. 
It ruled out two funding models touted widely during the ongoing debate over the corporation's funding. Okay, all right, all right. It recommended against entirely subscription or advertising funded models, as well as ones in which the BBC is fully funded by government grants. It is basically funded by a government grant. You don't pay your licence fee directly to the BBC. It goes into the government coffers. They're the ones that collect the interest on it. They're responsible for paying the money to the BBC. It is a government grant, granted to the BBC by taxing the British people. That's why it's being protected, isn't it? Government protect the BBC, BBC protect the government. It's a propaganda wing of the British government. That's why they keep the World Service going, so they can spread British propaganda all around the world. Just use the internet for it. A purely advertising-funded BBC is highly unlikely to be viable. Why? Why? ITV, in the last year I checked, turned over 3.7 billion quid a year and did a fine job of making television programmes and bringing in money. Seems pretty bloody viable to me. And would mean a multi-billion pound reduction in income for the BBC whilst damaging the rest of the public broadcasting sector. Not necessarily. If the BBC do a good job, they've got all these outlets, they've got these things all over the world. If they bring in BBC student production all into one, under one roof, they'll make more money. Unless they make absolute tat that no one wants to watch, which means there's no viewing numbers, which means there's no advertisers. But that's the BBC's problem, not ours, right? And whilst damaging the rest of the public service broadcasting, so I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. There is enough advertising to go around. Advertising has never been more prevalent. There's never been more money being spent on advertising in the history of mankind. Or people kind. Can you still say mankind? I'm sorry, which relies on advertising. I'm not having it. I'm not, I am not buying that argument at all. I've read a lot of stuff that he's saying there's so much money in advertising at the moment, another one coming in wouldn't hurt it. Netflix is doing adverts now. Amazon Prime is doing adverts now. Discovery Plus is doing adverts. Disney Plus is doing adverts. If there wasn't enough money in it, do you think they'd be doing it? No. BBC programming may also need to scale back to refocus on core public service broadcasting under a significantly reduced budget. Not if they do a good job. They'll make enough money. ITV have proven that you can make 3.7 billion quid a year just on those couple of TV channels that they have. And I play, uh, I play, uh, ITVX, isn't it? BBC has more TV channels. It also has radio. It has more worldwide outlets. They would make more than 3.7 billion quid a year. They 100% would if they did a good job. They did a shit job, obviously, yeah. The committee also dismissed a subscription service model similar to that of Amazon Prime, blah, 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 because it would generate insignificant income while introducing disproportionate barriers to access. It's probably the only fair point in this whole thing. If you put BBC behind a subscription plan, there's going to be a lot of people in the country that don't have good enough internet access or just don't want to be pissing about with having to do stuff like that on a TV, streaming and that, and paying for it that way. Older people, for instance. I get it. I get it. I don't have a problem with that. I've always said my plan for it, and the best way I see it, I thought, as you may have gathered, I've thought about it quite a lot, is show ads. Just scrap off all the other channels. Keep BBC News, keep BBC One, fuck off everything else, and show ads on them. BBC News is already set up to show ads in other markets. They just can't do it in the UK. It's there, it's done. Just show the bloody ads. And BBC One, Show ads. But if you want to watch the new stuff, like it's only going to show repeats, which ain't far off normal anyway, is it, BBC One? That's all we're going to show on BBC One now is repeats. If you want to watch new stuff as it's out tonight, like your EastEnders or whatever, you've got to pay to access it on iPlayer. If you don't want to pay to access it on iPlayer, or you can't access iPlayer, don't worry. It will be repeated on BBC One, like the next night or something. It just have ads in it. Bang, done. I've saved the BBC. But no. No, it's too easy. It's too easy. We've got to tax the British public. We've got to get more tax out of the British public to support this failing, dirty, horrible, propaganda-spewing broadcaster. It goes on. It goes on a lot more than that. But uh, I'll say, if you want to read the whole article, I'll put a link to it in the description below. I always put the links to these articles that I talk about in the description so you can go and have a read for yourself. It does go on. Show me bloody stuff. It does go on a bit more than that but otherwise i'll be here all night and um 
you know, I've got to cook me dinner because it's, what is it, quarter past six at night. Yeah, I just got in from work. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. It's it's start, it's going to start ramping. You're going to see more and more of this. And, uh, yeah, I don't know which way, I don't know which way the war is going to end. But I know there's many battles coming with regards to the license fee. What a mess, eh? Again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Hit all the buttons and everything while you're down there as well. So if you do that, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.